guys are watching this video, then that means that we're going to go check on the Z or possibly pick up the Z because um, the Z's been getting worked on for like the past like two weeks or so, almost three weeks it's been now. But um, today I'm either going to go check on the Z or the Z could either be done today as well. So we're about to go check on the progress of the Z. I got a couple pictures. Well, I only got one picture of the Z right now, but I'm going to actually go take some more pictures and get some videos of it so that I can post like the progress or whatever. Hopefully it's almost done, bro. Like it should be almost done. Like it's been three weeks already and I miss my car and I want to get it already. So um, hopefully it's done or either almost done. I don't know yet. Um, I did ask him to do a couple of extra things. So that's why I'm not really tripping on how long it's taking because um, I asked him to do a couple things that were originally in the plan. So he had to change up a few things. But yeah, he had to change up a few things because I wanted to alter the kit a little bit. But yeah, so yeah, that's why I'm not really tripping on how long it's taking because I asked him to do extra stuff. All right, guys, I got the beaters on. Stop playing. Just got off for work. I'm about to go check on the, on the Z. Oh yeah. It's your ride, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Turbo is mounted here. Okay. So it's gonna point like that. And that exhaust is that single on exhaust only? Yeah, single. Okay, so that one will come maybe around here. Maybe around here. I don't know what he's gonna do with it. Maybe around here. And then it connect right on the on the flange T3. Uh huh. And the aluminum go this way. Okay. But the turbo has to be mounted like here, along here somewhere. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to have a Saturday. I'll be here early in the morning about nine. I'll be helping them. At least we could get the turbo mounted. Everything else for him is easy. Your leg was mounted? Yeah, it was good. There you go, guys. Look, it goes down. Here. And you can barely see. Yeah, no, that little small chromoly makes me feel sick. A little elbow piece right there. Yeah, guys, the only thing left is to make the bracket you took it for the already? turbo. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take everything out. Okay, you, can put this, you can put it in the front seat if you want this. Told him we might be stripping a chunk out of this, he won't see it. Mm -hmm. A chunk out of that, we either might bolt it up, or who knows, he might weld it up there. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. his decision, he's what he wants to do. What's up, guys? Uh, we're just pulling up to the place so I can get a, a car dolly or like a trailer or something to tow the Z back. So, that obviously means the Z is done. We're supposed to be done, we'll see. But, um, Oh damn, why are we going to the back? I need to find somewhere to park. We need to park in the front so they can hook up the trailer. All the trailers oh, okay. are in the front. Okay, let me go to the restroom. Women. Anyways. And the Z is done, so um, today I'm going to be picking up the Z. And most likely I'm going to be taking it to Josh's shop. For those of you that don't know what Josh's shop is, it's Josh's house. That's where I do like majority of all my work on my car and stuff. That's where we do everything, basically. So, um, I'm gonna be dropping it off to Josh's house and we're just gonna start getting like the kit together, basically. Like, the only thing that it needs now is the oil lines 
and the vacuum lines for the wastegate and like just other maintenance stuff that I wanted to do before I um, tune the car on the 31st. So um, that's basically like, I'm gonna be doing my gaskets for the intake manifolds and I'm gonna be redoing my valve cover gasket because I have a valve cover gasket leak. God oh, damn bro. Y'all ever like shave and then it should start itching. Yeah. That shit's mad annoying. Anyways, so yeah, after I do my valve cover gasket, this while I'm already in there, I'm gonna be doing my um, fuel injectors and I'm probably gonna be doing the fuel pump too. But I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today. I'm gonna try and get like majority of it today. I know I can get like the valve covers and the um, intake manifold gaskets done today and the injectors, but I don't know about the fuel pump. The fuel pump's kind of like, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna take a minute. But other than that, the kit's basically on. Like the turbo's mounted, the wastegate's mounted, the exhaust is done, like everything else is done. The intercooler's done, it's all mounted up. I just have to put like the clamps on it and um, I need to connect my MAF sensor. You guys know the vibes. This is the setup. <laughs> this is what we get in the Z home with. Got a little dolly thing. Um, my car's real well dry, but we gonna send it anyways. We gonna tow that bitch home. Guys, if you eat at Zaxby's, you're fucking disgusting because Zaxby's is fucking disgusting, dog. <laughs> Does it make me a hypocrite if I only like one thing on the menu? And it's not even like I like it, it's just edible. Cause their tenders are edible. Not gonna lie. Look, M3 boys. Sheesh, that shit is wide as hell. But yeah guys, don't go to Zaxby's. Their food is fucking disgusting. It smells disgusting, tastes disgusting. Overall, every time I come here, oh yeah, peep the, the Uchiha shirt. Stop playing with me. Every time I go to Zaxby's, bro, I'm always disappointed. Fuck Zaxby's. Oh. Well, we made it, guys. So, gotta go um, look at the last few finished touches of the Z, and then we should be loading her up and taking her home. Have on the hot side. Gonna have a little tap. Where you're gonna hang the turbo. Look at those wells. Look at those wells. Shit is fire, bro. Shit is fire. Yo, yo, bring me, bring me a ratchet wrench. Oh, the pipe assistant. Yeah, there. There's a power tool. What size? It's a 38 inch ratchet. Shit. Put that up there, man. Who cares about the other name? Electric ratchet. Oh, that size? Electric ratchet. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that is me. I don't know why it's warm when you bring a girl with you. Hey, hold it right here. Hold it right here. No. We're gonna push it over there. To push it over there. Thank you. 
What's up guys, I brought my laptop today So I can upload this video for you guys to watch But um, um As you guys can see I already started taking this shit apart uh, I got this valve cover off I got the um, fuel rail off um, And that's pretty much it Because I had to replace this valve cover right here on this side because it was leaking really bad and like the last month it was leaking like super bad i already replaced that one not too long ago so that one's fine but yeah so after i change these injectors and then change the fuel pump then i can um go ahead and drop the oil pan so that um i can have the inlets for the um oil feed i see a lot that people don't understand how like the rear mount turbo works so i'll make a separate video on like how it works once we get everything together probably like the video of the first start i'll do that but for now i'm just working on getting this oil situation figured out i need to still um put together my scavenge pump and i'm gonna let you guys go ahead and see the back real quick that's how it's looking got the wastegate right there from the exhaust and goes into the turbo and then has the intercooler piping on that side it's the exhaust yeah it looks sick but yeah that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys for tuning in uh, leave a like comment subscribe um if you guys have any questions just comment down below i'll be answering questions i answer all my comments so um yeah, just comment down below see you guys in the next one